Charleston City Police investigate an interesting heist. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dean Stevens. And I'm Victoria Hanson. Someone swiped works of art from the Charleston County Library. ABC News 4's Stacey Jacobson joins us now in the studio. She has the very latest. Stacey? Well, Victoria, police say a man visiting the library was not interested in books. Instead, he took three paintings off the wall and walked out. Yeah, they had been trying to contact me. Elise Khan spends weeks painting one-of-a-kind pieces like this one. Her collection is now on display at the Charleston County Library, but not every piece is there. I get an email asking if I had sold any of my work for, um, from the library coordinator, um, and it turned out that, well, somebody had stolen it. Police say a man walked out of the library with three of Khan's paintings on Wednesday. Khan says they're worth a total of about $2,500. Library director Doug Henderson says it's the first time art has ever been swiped from the gallery. We're going to make the art, obviously make the artist whole. We want people to know that, that we are here, that the art is here, uh, that we want the art to continue to be shown. We want the artists to know that it's safe to show their art here. Officials say the three paintings stolen were all around this size, so that means the suspect could easily put them in a backpack and just walk out. It's sort of flattering that somebody liked it enough to steal it, I guess, but it's still really depressing to have it stolen. She says she hopes the library can add better security, like putting tags on the art that set off the security buzzers. And she has some advice for her artistic friends. I would probably suggest to people in the future who want to exhibit at the space to just have a really big piece that someone can't stuff in their backpack. She says this won't slow her down. She even booked a new exhibition today. And police say no one who works at the library recognized the man on the surveillance video. Their investigation is ongoing. Dean? Well, police have arrested the man they say is behind a string of painting thefts at the Charleston County Library. ABC News 4's Stacey Jacobson joins us right now with much more. Stacey? Victoria, police arrested Robert Wayne Russell and charged him with grand larceny. They say Russell stole seven paintings and sold three of them to a business owner. Now, the business owner turned him in to police. Two more pieces of art swiped from the Charleston County Library. Officials say it's the same man who took three paintings on Wednesday. You can see him here on surveillance video. He takes his backpack downstairs, hides it behind a trash can, comes back in the building and then leaves with it. The suspect has now stolen four pieces from artist Elise Khan. She was disappointed but also flattered when we spoke with her last night after the first three. But now... Honestly, I'm starting to feel kind of victimized just because they came back. Like, who does that? She says she does not hold it against the library. Khan blames the suspect. She says she doesn't recognize him, but he has rallied the art community. I really appreciate that this gallery is here as a resource for the local artists, and I hope that it continues to show work. Without fear. That's exactly what library director Doug Henderson wants to do. He vows to make the library safe, for artists of all ages. We show the art shows that are out there from the schools, and we don't want that to be stopped. It's very valuable, not only for us, but for the kids. Now, though they now have three paintings back, police are still looking for the other four. Dean and Victoria. Today, two more thefts from the Charleston County Library meant some serious business. In fact, police say 57-year-old Robert Wayne Russell stole seven paintings from the Charleston County Library. He was arrested today and charged with grand larceny. ABC News 4, Stacey Jacobson has more. Without fear that someone's going to come in and try to ruin it for all of us. Library to... officials are using words like violated to describe their reaction. Officials say this is Robert Wayne Russell. They caught him on surveillance video nabbing three paintings on Wednesday. Local artist Elise Khan painted them for a month-long exhibit. And then Friday morning, the news that the same man checked out with two more paintings. Library Executive Director Doug Henderson says the Low Country art community will stay strong. And Khan is behind him. To have someone come and steal the art is almost like they're stealing part of the city itself like they're just they're taking something from the whole community not just me she says she supports the library the four pieces were worth almost three thousand dollars the library is consulting with its security company to figure out a better way to secure the art until then the art gallery will remain closed stacy jacobson abc news 4. 
Well, a big sigh of relief today for a local artist. She got back some of her paintings recently stolen from the Charleston County Library. Today, Lizzie Kahn was given back three of four pieces of art taken last week. Kahn says she's shocked at how quickly her artwork was found and says it feels a bit like a miracle. I'm so glad they're back. Oh, my God. I was so worried that they would never come back and I'd never see them again. But somebody had sold them and they were just hanging up in someone's living room. It feels like it's Christmas, honestly. And the Charleston police are currently looking for Khan's last painting, along with work that was taken from two other artists. 57-year-old Robert Russell was arrested last Friday in connection with this case.